All right, welcome back. My name is Adam and we're here to change the world one line of code at a time. In today's lesson, uh, we're gonna be using an RGB LED and controlling the red value using a potentiometer. Have a look. So here you can see as you turn the dial on the potentiometer, the red LED lights up to full brightness. And as you turn down the dial on the potentiometer, it goes down all the way until it's off. All right, so now it's time to wire up our circuit. So we always start by taking our five volt and bringing it onto the plus row of our board. We'll do that, and then we'll take our ground and we'll bring it on to the negative row of the board. And we do this so that on our breadboard, we know we can access ground and the voltage right from the board. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our RGB LED. Now your RGB LED has four pins on it. So the left pin is red, then there's a long pin, which is the cathode, then green, and then blue. Now you may have your spun the other way around, so you may see the long pin to the right. Just flip it over so it goes red, long pin, green, blue. And then we're gonna wire that up. So let's start with red. According to our code, we have red wired up to pin number nine. So I'm gonna take pin nine. Now I'm not gonna plug it directly in to my LED because I need a resistor in between the two. So I'm gonna put my red over here, and then I'm gonna put a resistor in between my wire from the board and my LED. And what that does is that allows me to have resistance in between the voltage coming out of the board and the voltage going into the LED, which is important that we do that. Quickly switch these over to red so that we can tell what's what. And then we'll do this for green and we'll do this for blue. So our green is coming out of pin 10. So I'm just gonna pull it over here leave that green. My blue is coming out of pin 11, so we'll bring that over there. Now we're going to put resistors in between each of these as well. So I'm going to bring a green resistor over here, and we're going to wire a green resistor up. Okay, and then we're going to bring our blue resistor in, and we're going to wire our blue resistor up here. So that now we have coming from our Arduino, Pin 11 is blue. It's gonna go through a resistor and then into the blue pin of the LED. Green is coming from 10 through a resistor into the green pin and red through a resistor into the red pin. So what do we do with that missing pin? Well, we don't connect it to the potentiometer because all of that's happening inside of our code. All we need to do is provide a ground for our LED. So we're actually just gonna wire anywhere in this row up to the ground row of our breadboard. And that provides us with grounding out of the LED. So that's actually all we need to do for the RGB LED. The only code left to do is the potentiometer. So now what we need to do is bring the potentiometer in. So any standard potentiometer comes with three pins. Uh, the middle pin is actually where the output from the potentiometer is going to get sent. So we're gonna wire that up to A0. So we're gonna do that with a yellow wire here so we don't get confused. So that's gonna send whatever voltage the potentiometer is letting through, send that voltage signal into the computer. So then we just need to have a ground and a voltage so that it knows where to get power and it knows what to send for the resistance. So I'm gonna wire the left leg of this over to the voltage and I'll make that red. And then I'm gonna bring the right leg of the potentiometer into the ground. It actually doesn't matter which one you do to ground and which one you do to voltage because the way a potentiometer works is it just takes the full voltage, the full five volts, and then it acts like a resistor that's controlled by a dial and then sends through the voltage reading that's left over to the Arduino in port A0. All right, and that actually completes your circuit. So now you can jump ahead to the code and see if you can get things up and running. All right, let's get started with our program. Uh, we're gonna wanna make sure that you start off a new uh, sketch in your online sketchbook. Uh, you can give it a name if you want for lesson seven, and then let's get started. So the first thing we need to do, here's your code here, is we need to declare the physical outputs. So that is the values that we're gonna send from the computer to the board, which will go to the RGB LED. So we'll have to send one for red, one for green, and one for blue. Okay, so let's have a look. So the red pin here, I've got it as an integer. That's a value that's non-decimal, a number value. Red pin set equal to nine. So that means that on my board, I've got my red pin plugged into the nine port out of my Arduino. Green is 10 and blue is 11. Okay, so that's gonna set up my physical outputs to send values to the board. All right, next up, we need to set up our physical input. So right now, we're gonna be using one potentiometer to control our red value. So let's have a look. 
we're going to set up an integer. I called it R pot pin, standing for the red potentiometer pin. And I've set it equal to A0. All right, so for this next section, we're going to set up the constants and variables that we're going to use in our program. Now, the code's a little bit longer here, so you might want to pause the video a second to type along. Remember, you don't need to type in the comments. They're just there for clarity. So first, we've got something called the uh, read value. And the read value is going to be the value that we take in from the potentiometer. And that gives us a range from 0 to 1024. And that's going to be that value we get as we turn the potentiometer dial. Then we're going to have a green and a blue value, which I'm going to set to zero for right now. Now, in the extension, you're going to want to play around with these a little bit. But for now, we're going to set them to zero. And then I have this red value. Now, notice I didn't give this a value. And the reason for that is we're actually going to get that value calculated based on what we get from the potentiometer later on in the code. All right, so now we need to set up the actual values in Arduino. So we do this using the setup function, which you've seen before. So take a minute, pause the video, take down the code, and then let's go through it together. So first things first, I set up my serial. Now, I'm not actually using my serial in this program, but it's good to have it there because a lot of times we need to use debug statements or little print lines to just double check that things are working right. So then I'm going to set up the output pins for each of the colors. So this is telling the Arduino software that the pins that we've already pre-assigned numbers to are actually output pins. So we do one for the red pin, so pin mode, red pin output. We do one for the green, pin mode, green pin output. And we do one for the blue, pin mode, blue pin, and output. Then we do that for our input from the potentiometer. So that's pin mode, our pot pin, which is our red potentiometer pin. And we're setting it to an input. Notice that output and input are in all caps. That's a syntax that we use with the Arduino software. All right, so now that we have the setup done, we're going to get in and have a look at the actual loop. So what's going to happen in our code each time that it runs? So what's the first thing we need our code to do? Well, we need our code to be looking for the value coming from the potentiometer. So we're going to do that here. So take a second and have a look at what I've got here. So we're going to take in the voltage from the potentiometer, which is a range from 0 to 1024, and we're going to store that in that read value variable that we saved earlier in the, in the program. We'll do this using this analog read function. The analog read function needs you to tell it where to listen. So we want it to listen on the R potentiometer pin the R plot pin variable that we set up earlier in the code. All right, so that's going to get our code listening for the value from the potentiometer. Well, what's next? Next, we have to do a little bit of math. We have to take a value that goes from 0 to 1024 and convert it to be from 0 to 255. Well, why 255? Colors. The standard RGB color spectrum goes from 0 to 255. So let's have a look at this code. If we want to take a number, we want to take a number between 0 and 1024. We basically want to divide it down so that it's between 0 and 1, and then multiply it back up to the range that we want. So to do that, we take a value from 0 to 1024. We're going to divide it by 1023, and then multiply it by 254. And this makes sure that our value doesn't go above and stays in the correct range that we want it to be. So in Arduino, we see that we've done red value, which is the value we want to write out to our uh, LED is equal to 255 divided by 1023 multiplied by our read value, the value in from the potentiometer. Now I know what you're thinking. What's with the weird dots? Well, this is the thing. When you divide 255 by 1023, you get a decimal number between 0 and 1. The problem is the computer thinks that when we're dividing two integers, which remember have no decimals, that it wants to give an answer that's also an integer, which means it's going to give us zero every time. So what we need to do is we need to tell the computer, hey, we don't actually want this to be an integer. We want the decimals. We do that by making sure at least one of the values in the division has a little dot at the end of it. And that's what you can see there in the code. We have this new value called red value, which is a range from 0 to 255, which is ready to be written to our LED. So let's do that. Here, is our code to push it out to the LED. It's called an analog write. And it's going to write a value from 0 to 255 out to that LED. So I done analog write on my red pin because it's the red value I want to push. And what am I pushing? Well, I'm pushing the red value, which is now a number from 0 to 255. Well, what about green and blue? Well, not super important, but it, it should be noted that let's keep them at 0 for now so that we only see red when we turn our dial on our LED. So we should still write our values out to those. So it's going to be pretty much the same code. 
where we're going to do analog write for green and an analog write for blue. All right, so now we've got the code in there that's going to let us make sure that we have a zero value in for green and a zero value in for blue. So the only thing that should be happening is our code is as we turn our potentiometer, our code is going to recognize that value, 0 to 1024, using the read value. Then it's going to take that value and convert it to red value, which is between 0 and 255. And then it's going to push the red, which is between 0 and 255, the green and the blue, which are both 0, out to our board, which means as we turn the dial on our potentiometer, our LED should basically go from being off, which would be 0, 0, 0, up to a full red brightness of 255, 0, and 0. Good luck getting it working, and when you're ready for the extension, come on back. Wait, you're done already? All right, all right, don't get carried away. Let's do an extension today. How about you wire up two more potentiometers on your breadboard? One for the green and one for the blue. So that instead of green and blue always being zero, which is kind of boring, you can now turn three dials or three potentiometers and control the full range of colors that your RGB LED is capable of doing. Good luck.